This is gonna be cool, guys. I was actually uh, given a copy of Shovel Knight King of Cards. So you know before I played the first Shovel Knight, and then we did uh, Plague Knight, and then we did Spectre Knight. So this is the one, this is the next one in the series. This is King of Cards. Now, just so you know that this is a demo of the game. This isn't the full version of the game. So if there's anything weird here or um, it's incomplete, that's because it's the demo. But all right, let's get this going. And um, I haven't really played this yet, so I am gonna, I'm just gonna start it on easy. Maybe we can go to a harder one later. Or save that for when we uh, get the full version of the game. Yeah, just so you guys know, this is not out yet. Um, I got a copy of it. Ryan actually got me the copy of it. So thank you, Ryan. Say thanks to Ryan, guys. <laughs> But this is, uh, I really liked the last one. The last one was my favorite, which was Spectre Knight. So we'll see how this one stacks up in comparison. But again, um, this is incomplete. So um, I'm not going to really be able to make my sort of final judgment about the game. Um, one thing that you're going to notice right off the bat is that he does the uh, Super Mario World kind of jump. You know, when Mario breaks... Uh, blocks so I'll show you what essentially we're doing here is when you jump off the wall like I could jump off this wall and then he does that spin you know what I mean about Mario World how Mario does that but oh did I just totally mess myself up here by oh I can still do that okay and there's your checkpoint for anybody that hasn't doesn't know anything about Shovel Knight yet but this is cool because you can sort of bash the walls pretty neat and that's uh, that's essentially it seems to be the main mechanic of this one where Plague Knight was more like uh, NES Batman I guess this one you're you slam you're slamming into the walls and then doing the sort of uh, Super Mario World style uh, block jump or whatever that move is called if that, if that move actually has a name somebody let me know because I don't want to you know, if, if there's a name to it, then, oh, there we go. So see, we're doing the spin down on him. Pretty cool. Let me see what some of these guys in the chat are saying. Oh, you liked his uh, It Destiny video? Yeah, I thought it was funny. Oh, look, it's a Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> Why isn't King Knight going through rings? Oh, you know what? They have to do... The next version is going to be Shovel Knight Superman 64. Yeah, it's a, it's like a, the spin jump, I guess, I guess is what you'd call it. Thank you, for, uh, Frost Air. I guess, that's, uh, I guess that's the term for it. The spin jump from Mario World. It sounds familiar. Oh, by the way, you can't go off of the grass here. You have to go off of the the rock face. Just so you know. So if you see me, you know, not jumping against that, that's that's why. I'm not sure what, exactly what those ones do there, but And I'm definitely still very much getting used to this. Uh, Justin says, thank you so much for the years of great entertainment you and James created. But my question is, would it be a prequel arc in Board James showing the origins of Motherfucker Mike? Uh, well, we stop that series for now. But, uh, you know, anything's possible someday. That's more James thing. Uh, he, he'd have to... That's more of a James question. Because <laughs> he's, uh, he's the mastermind behind that. 
but thanks uh, thanks a lot for that uh, Justin Chipman show and we want to do this jump like this and see so you gotta jump off that part because that's the one opening Ooh. Turkey time. <laughs> Jacob asked, uh, hey, could you play Sunset Riders? Yeah, I would definitely love to. Um, I, I will be doing that at some point. I don't know if I'm going to do it for a stream or for James and Mike Monday or for both. But yeah, I, we'll, we will definitely get the Sunset Riders. Um, some other ones I, I'd really like to get to, uh, Faxanadu. And I would like to do uh, Crystalis. Um, there's a lot, and there's a lot I want to do. But we'll, we'll get to everything eventually, guys. <laughs> too many, too many games. Too little time. I actually finally got around to doing an Atari live stream last night, which I was very happy about finally doing. Here we go. Boom. This is how they want you to do this with your Mario spin jump. Dash is very cool. Love it. The controls in these games are always like they really know what they're doing. Um, really, really good. Still, I would say my least favorite was Plague Knight. I had to pick a least favorite. Um, I thought the controls were a little weird in that. Um, it took me quite. I was never quite. I never quite got used to it. I just thought they were a little weird. Um, I liked the game. I liked Plague Knight, but it wasn't my favorite. Um, my favorite was Spectre Knight. But this is actually really cool. I, li I like these mechanics. I don't know if they're quite as cool as Spectre Knight, but it's, uh, that could be a preference thing, but it, it definitely is cool. Because the thing is, it's, it's hard to beat the Batman wall jump, you know what I mean? Because that's one of the best, uh, you know, control schemes ever. It's just so much fun to, to do that. There we go. And here we go. Take us up, rats. 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 Thousands of them. Millions. Oh no, they're not going to give us a dark level, are they? This is a lot of fun, though. I'm already in, really enjoying this. I am curious to find out just how complete this is, because since this in, is a demo, um, you know, I don't know how much exactly is included here, so. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I was almost concerned for a second that that, that would break on me. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Let's try that again. There we go. They're still teaching you kind of how to how to do it. So they want you to do this, 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 and that. Oh, this, that, mm, this. Let's see, I gotta get used to this. This, this, that. Like that's what they want you to do. All right. And you gotta, I'm sure, become a master at doing that. So they're already introducing, oh, elements like that. See, there was a spot right there I could have gotten. You know, I could do, I could do something like that. That's how, probably how they want you to do that. And this guy gives out so many hearts. Gotta get the money. All right. William Patrick says, I like his kingliness. Mike, did you watch James' video about the films that he doesn't love? Says MC. Uh, that is a video that 
we had been talking about him doing for like a decade. In fact, that honestly, that might even go back to pre. No, that goes back to like. I don't know if you guys remember when with the early, early top tens that we did. For anybody that's been following us for that long, but uh, like we used to do top ten um, like car chases and. Um, top 10 shoot 'em ups and, and top 10 giant monsters, top 10 Jackie Chan stunt scenes and all that. If you guys remember all that, that so the, the, that concept went, goes back all the way to then. Um, that's how long. Because uh, the, back then he only had a couple. He wanted to get more like a really good list of movies that he felt that way about. So that's just been like on the back burner and a back burner idea for a really long time. Um, that's in fact, I would say that's probably the oldest one, one of the oldest ideas that, uh, we hadn't yet done for like a movie re review, but actually there's a, there's some more coming up actually that we're planning to do that are ones that we've been planning to do for a really long time. So I'm fine. I'm glad we're that, you know, getting, we're getting around to that kind of stuff, but yeah, uh, yeah, so, but not shoot. Not only did I see it, I've been talking to James about that for like a decade. <laughs> yeah. So, which is funny. And we both feel the same way about Don Donnie Darko. I was supposed to do that. But yeah, if you haven't seen that, uh, James did a video. Top 10 films he doesn't love. I think, like, film, like, it's like films he appreciates, but he's not like as into as a lot of other people. That kind of thing. So what if they... Oh, they want me to do this, right? Let's say this is gonna be weird. Oh, I see. I see. Never mind. So let me do this. Oh, oh, shoot. Almost at it. Oh, my God. Slippery. Alright, timing's just gotta be just right on this. There we go, alright. Jeez. Alright, this one, I guess. Oh, it's this, okay. There we go. Forget about those blue, those blue lanterns. So they probably want you to do like that. Then, oh. This is freaking me out. Wow. Okay. A little bit tough. Look at the castle in the background. It reminds me of the castle that Frodo gets captured in in The Return of the King um, near the end of the movie. Not Mordor, but um, there's like another capture. The one that Sam goes into and he rescues him. That's what that reminds me of. <laughs> Food. Uh oh. Oh no. Spectre Knight. This just makes me want to play Spectre Knight again. Oh boy. Like, even a lot of, I, I don't remember like the hearts being like a thing before. It's just like, oh, you know what? You know why this is like this? Probably because I'm on I'm on easy mode. Hmm. Maybe I should go back and turn it on harder because I can I can handle more than this. Hmm. Anyway, this is just a demo thing anyway. So engrave thy name. Let's let's do something very oh very AVGN here. There you go. Oh no, is that it? Oh come on, there's more to it than that, right? Oh no. That might be it, guys. I guess I will. I guess I will go and I'll just do, I'll do 
<laughs> Isn't that funny? There's easy, medium, and card. Okay, so I actually thought that there would be more. So this is, this is the first time I'm playing this, so. Oh wait, is there more? Or is this, is this that, let's say. Okay, never mind. maybe there is more. I guess I was just saving it. Do I want to play some cards? Uh, not particularly, but I guess I'll try. Okay. Oh no, no, no. No, I don't want to do this. Alright, so they included some kind of card game. I have no idea. push card onto gem. That's what I'm doing. I don't I don't I really understand it. Well can I put it here? Okay, apparently not. Oh, uh, this is really weird. So we're pushing the card up into the slots as well. What is the point of this? So we're trying to push these guys off essentially. I see. Okay. Okay, that's weird. But I got a reward though. Do I want that or oh, I want this? I got a bubble dragon card. Oh boy. All right, anyway. All right, enough. All right. These people aren't talking to me. I think that this might not be quite finished yet. So these people aren't talking yet. And there's like a card thing. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, maybe I'm gonna get out of here. No. Okay, never mind. They do work. I was hitting the wrong button. No, I don't want to do... <sighs> do you think you're fan- Yes, I'm fancier than you. No! Let's not. No. I don't want to do that. Alright, how do I get out of here? Okay, I seem to be stuck in this area. get out this way all 
Okay, I think I'm like stuck here because this is not letting me out. Uh, Alright, so I can't seem to get out of this area, so that might be it. Yeah, so, like I said, this isn't the full version of the game, so I guess this is just a bit of a preview of the game. Um, yeah, I can't get out now, so I think that's, I think that's it. So, um, I don't know. That might be it. We might have to end there, unfortunately. But, um, so I guess I'll, I guess I'll take a break here and, uh, maybe I'll come back later and do another stream. But anyway, that's a, that's a preview of Shovel Knight King of Cards. It's pretty cool. I, I do really like this, um, spin jump mechanic. Um, you know, it's like Mario World, but it's cool. So, alright guys, uh, thanks, thanks for watching.